I'm Simon Rex, and I'm on Perez TV. Scary Movie 5 in theaters worldwide, all over the world, and other planets. Well, I think what's most uh, interesting about this Scary Movie Part 5 that people would want to see is it's a whole new cast revamped, minus me and Charlie Sheen. Everyone else is new, so it's, uh, it's got a whole new look, new director, Malcolm Lee. Uh, but it's still written and produced by David Zucker, who did the last two scary movies in Airplane and Naked Gun. So it has the old school Zucker feel, but it has a new look. Ashley Tisdale plays my wife, and we spoof Mama, and we adopt Charlie Sheen's kids, in, similar to Mama. So we are new to being parents, and we're very bad at it. Um, Ashley Tisdale, is, uh, who plays Jody, is a bit apprehensive, whereas I'm gung-ho about the kids. So it causes a lot of chaos in the house which is haunted so we're new parents and we <laughs> we really suck at it so comedy ensues babies get dropped etc and even worse go see it yeah the Lindsay Lohan Charlie Sheen scene which bookends the movie uh, it opens and closes the movie is really funny as they both make fun of themselves which you have to give them a lot of credit for a lot of actors might take themselves too seriously and not poke fun at themselves they really let the writers jab at them, and they were great sports about it. It's a really funny scene. Uh, both of them touch on really personal things in their lives that you know they could easily have been like, I'm not going to do that, but instead they not only did it, but they killed it. It's really funny. I enjoyed working just because I was such a fan. I enjoyed working with a lot of people in the movie, obviously, and there were so many celebrity cameos, but for me, I really liked working with Terry Crews. He was such a great guy and, and fun to work with. He plays my boss. And Molly Shannon, who I'm such a big fan of, was uh, really an amazing human being, more than just a funny person. She's just the sweetest lady, and I just was really like starstruck by her. Uh, the most because I just think she's fearless comedian and I really I really was impressed with Molly Shannon minus this one because I've only seen it once I just saw a screening of it and I don't know if it was the finished version but I'm really attached to scary movie 3 of all the ones prior to this as I thought it just had a little of everything and it I, I like to you know I do I play in real life I'm uh, do I rap as a character called dirt nasty so in Scary Movie 3, I played Eminem, so I got to rap. So for me, it was really fun to be Eminem. Yeah, there's one thing in, in my career that I haven't done, which I'd like to do, which is um, bass jumping while rapping, which I think would be tough due to the wind and the microphone, but I'm going to pull it off. Uh, and I'd say, like, as an actor, I want to do a play or something like that. But honestly, like, I've done stand-up, and to me, that's, like, the hardest thing you can do is just get up with a microphone and make people laugh. And I've bombed so many times. I have a music group called Three Loco, which is me, Riff Raff, and Andy Melanakis, which is on iTunes right now. We got signed to Diplo's label, Mad Decent, so we got a cool label behind us. And I'm just finished this week my new Dirt Nasty album, which will be out soon on iTunes as well and in stores. So I, I do comedy music. I do stand-up, and I do rapping, and I kind of combine the two. And I just make fun of myself, similar to what I just said about Charlie and Lindsay. I make fun of myself as an actor in Hollywood. It's very self-deprecating. It's very, you know, lighthearted, fun comedy music. And I feel like comedy music is usually really bad music, and the jokes are good, or the jokes are good and the music's bad. I think with Three Loco and Dirt Nasty, we've been able to pull off listenable music that's fun. Yeah, that's it. Go see Scary Movie 5 if you want to have a laugh and... Put your brain under your seat for 90 minutes and not think too much and just don't take it too serious. It's not Downton Abbey. All right, it ain't Lincoln. Just go laugh.